this is a risky David of Mayor Risk LLC. Today is May the 25th, 2019, and today's brief discuss- discussion is about Algeria and how General Gaid Saleh, the head of the military, has become the main obstacle in the stability of Algeria. General Gaid Saleh is now the direct target of the popular movement after he almost became a hero following his pressure to oust unpopular President Bouteflika, he is now seeking to impose a solution to the crisis that no one in Algeria really wants except the remnants of the unpopular regime of Bouteflika. Gaid Saleh has been directing everything despite the country having an interim president, a prime minister and a a national assembly, all of them silent. The general has demanded the holding of a presidential election on 4th of July that has even been rejected by the ruling parties of the FLN and the RND. The deadline to to file for candidate papers has come and gone, and not even the FLN and the RND have submitted their applications. Yet the 80-year-old officer wants his own way and sees that the current crisis resolved only with his nonsense election. The rise of General Gaid Saleh is a worrisome development for North Africa. If he gets his own way, he will be the third army man to rule over a North African country with Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Libya's Khalifa Haftar, two men who are playing a major destructive role wreaking havoc on their own people. And we believe that North Africa can do better than this. For Gaid Saleh, the road ahead is paved with major obstacles. His political foes, from retired General Hussein Ben Hadid, now in prison, to the media, are accusing him of being the, in the pockets of the United Arab Emirates. If true, this will not be a shocking development, because the UAE has been pumping money and weapons into Haftar's war efforts in Libya, so he would counter the Muslim Brotherhood there and he would prevent any concept of democracy to take place. Two things that the UAE, Saudi Arabia and the Egyptian regime will not tolerate. They are doing the same thing in Sudan and why not in Algeria? But Gaid Saleh's biggest obstacle is actually the stubbornness of the good people of Algeria. They too will not tolerate another rogue regime the protest movement this Friday, that was yesterday, 25th, 24th of May 2019, made it very clear that it understands the general's game and delaying tactics. His speech of last Monday, described as provocative by the pro- demonstrators, had the opposite effect. It attracted more protesters who have come out in millions on Friday to demand his departure. In Algiers, despite the despicable repression and the state of siege by the gendarmerie and the police to prevent the gathering of protesters, hundreds of thousands of people have invaded boulevards and streets of the capital. Brandishing emblems and placards bearing slogans hostile to the power, the protesters violently charged Ahmed Gate Saleh, describing him as a protector of traitors. The protesters also expressed their rejection of the military state that the regime's supporters are attempting to reintroduce little by little. They also reminded Gaid Saleh that they are rejecting his presidential election idea scheduled for 4th of July. The protesters are opposing attempts to divide the ranks of the popular movement. There have been indeed growing attempts to divide Algerians along the usual lines, regional and ethnic lines for example, but their games have been spotted. Um, they are now demanding, the population is now demanding the departure of Ben Saleh and Badwi. Those are the first one is the interim president, the second Badwi is the prime minister. General Gaid Saleh could single handedly bring Algeria into the 21st century. He and he alone can make it a beacon of progress, peace, stability, and economic development so necessary to give the entire region a path to progress. The chance is his only, and only time will tell where he's going. Thank you for listening.